Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we are going to make a masculine birthday card, and I've got supplies out here on my table that um, we're going to use. And I thought it'd be fun to use this uh, kit that's from Stampendous, and it's a um, it's like a kit that's got a stencil and some stamps in it, and everything works together. So I figured this will be the quickest and easiest way for me to come up with a masculine card that I need this afternoon. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm working on a half a piece of um, glittery, shimmery cardstock. And um, even though it's a masculine card, I still think it's fun to have some special effects texture type thing there. And I'm going to take some um, just acrylic paint and I'm just going to stencil just a little bit of texture here. And I'm just going to use a little bit of blue in this orchid purpley color just because I think it will, I don't know, kind of give me like an atmosphere, atmospheric kind of sky. Totally up to you whether you want to do this or not. I don't have to go all the way out to the edge because I know I am going to be trimming off a little bit. This will be a fairly large greeting card, like um, half a sheet of cardstock folded in half. So, um, so I did want to have room to to experiment and and use all this stuff. But I'm just going to trim off a little bit so I'll have a nice border when I go to mount it on my card base and get a little bit more of that dark blue over here. I want a little of the glittery background to show through, but I don't need a ton of it. So there now I have just kind of like a patchy uh, stencil design. And since this is acrylic paint, I can actually leave this on my stencil, let it dry, and it'll be fine because there's no big globs or anything. So I'm just gonna set that aside. And then I wanted to stamp um, this, like this foam stamp has like a, a design on one side and a flat, piece on this other and the flat piece actually coordinates with this rubber stamp so I want to get some kind of layers of building so I'm going to do this um, the textured side first and I'm going to raise it up on my background and I think I'm going to do it with this kind of teal color I like to use um, just these like inexpensive sponge brushes and if you're just using it like this you can actually wash out the sponge brush and use it over and over again um, for stamping you don't really wear them out so you can keep you know washing them and reusing them if you like to and since acrylic paint is opaque I'm gonna be able to layer the uh, solid design slightly lower in front of this so I'll have kind of that cool layered skitty, cityscape look and you don't have to be perfect because you know you want it to look kind of random and natural and mixed media e and you can you might want to put like a um something down on your work surface to protect your table this is just my you know work mat so i'm not worried about that too much and i think maybe i'll just add a little yellow to that brush make it a little bit more greeny i don't have to do the whole thing because it's not all going to show so i'm just going to do kind of these buildings over here Put it there. Remember, it's your cityscape. You can do whatever colors you want. Make it look however you want it to look. And maybe I'll even raise or lower. Well, it will lower that a little bit because I want the sky to show. Okay. And now on the other side, I'm gonna do white. So I'm gonna have white there. Um, and I'll just put like a piece of scrap paper on top when I press it, so I don't get that all over my hands. So I'm just going to grab a fresh sponge brush here and some white paint. And I'm just using a piece of old plastic packaging for my palette. I like to do that and then I just wipe it off and use it again. And then when it gets too gross and grungy or if paint dries in it and I can't use it again, then I'll just toss it. But at least I can get a few uses out of it before I have to do that. And please excuse any um, noises you hear. This is the weekend and uh, the kids are running around upstairs. So, you know, we just have some... Some background noise, not a big deal. I'll put that on fairly thick because I want it to, um, I want to have a nice base to put my, uh, to stamp on top of. I think I do want a little color in this. Maybe I'll do, um, let's see, maybe I'll do some yellow. Add some yellow to that too because I think that'd be kind of cool to have a little bit of color there as well. You, you don't have to worry about cleaning these foam stamps off so much when you're done. Just kind of wipe off any chunks and you know you'll be fine. It doesn't really bother anything. Okay so this I think what I'll do is just kind of offset it like hmm, maybe I'll do it like that. Throw a piece of paper so I don't get this all over my hands. And 
and then do a, do a little bit on either side. We'll put, whoops, that's not the right sponge I was using. That's all right. Do a little bit that of this over here. And then a little bit over here of this other side. Not much is going to show, so I just need to get a little bit on there. And we'll just put that right there. And then I can fill in with my brush a little bit. If I feel like it needs it. Any place I feel like it needs it, I can just kind of swipe my brush. And then it gives a little bit of a, of a painterly look too, which is kind of fun. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take the cling stamp right here. I'm actually gonna just leave it right on its packaging because I can just do this by hand. You could put it on a large mount. If you don't have a mount large enough for this, if you have a die cutting machine, you can use the cutting pad as a stamp mount and that works really well. But I think I'm just gonna keep it attached to the acetate and I think I'll be fine. And I'm just gonna grab another sponge brush. Remember, you can wash these and I'm just grabbing some acrylic paint I'm just going to tap on a nice even coating. Now, when you're working with acrylic paint on these stamps, you really have to make sure that you um, that you wash them well because otherwise they will the paint could get stuck in the nooks and crannies and ruin the stamp. So you don't want that to happen. I usually just um, take like a toothbrush and some water and soap and just scrub it in the sink and then rinse it, wipe it off, and then you're good. So just make sure whenever you're using the acrylic stamps on the acrylic paint on rubber stamps that you do take the time to clean it. Not a big deal with the foam, but definitely you want to protect the investment of your rubber stamps. I love how all these come together. So fun. All right. So this is going to line up with what I have in the center there. So I'm just going to be careful to lay it down in the right area. And if it's a little offset, it's going to be fine. It will just look kind of artsy and artsy is good. We like the artsy and it will also look kind of grungy and make it look a little more masculine because I'm going for a masculine card here and it's a little out of my comfort zone. I generally do more kind of pretty feminine floral things. So it's kind of fun to, to break loose, cut wild, do something different. So let's lift that up and see what we got. Ooh, that's cool. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did with the foam stamp here. And a little bit on each side, just so I have enough to, to go back in and cover. And I just want to be careful to line it up. Just get that. And the nice thing about having this acetate packaging is that I can really press it down there and make sure it, um, it bonds. There, and that's our background. I think I might put a moon in there. So maybe I'll just grab a paintbrush and freehand that in. Get one right behind me here. Here we go. Got a paintbrush. See, this is this is why I like having all my stuff out because I can just reach around and get what I need to get. And let's grab a little white paint for that. Let's put a little moon in the sky. I thought about doing like um like an airplane with like a trailing banner saying happy birthday but then i thought i really want this to be a night nice scene and you really wouldn't see like you wouldn't be able to read a banner on the back of an airplane at night and plus that was a little cutesy and i was trying to make this a little bit more masculine so yeah you know maybe that that's a good idea for a lady card maybe i always feel like i can go all out for my um my female friends on greeting cards and put like fabric and glitter and sequins and pearls and all that stuff and then I gotta I gotta restrain a little bit for guy cards but then that just forces me to do some different techniques and I think also I'll put some stars in the sky so I'm just gonna holding my brush straight up and down just dabbing on some some little stars I'm trying not to make it look like snow because we've all had enough snow here in Maine so I don't want to don't wanna bring anyone down with our snow and some of this is going to be trimmed off so we just want to account for that all right, so I'm going to let this dry and prepare my card base, and then we'll put the entire card together. I decided I would decorate my envelope while I had all my paints out. So this is just one of those big uh, six by nine envelopes, and you can usually get big packages of those at the office supply store very inexpensively. So what I'm simply going to do is just stamp my little um, 
uh, cityscape here. And I'm actually going to just spritz what I have here with water because I don't think I have enough paint on my palette. I don't want to get any more out, but I also don't like to waste. So I'm just spritzing that with some water and I'm going to do that across the bottom of my envelope. Be a miracle if I keep my shirt clean here. I'm all dressed for the party, so I don't want to don't want to get all grimy. Hopefully I just have to wash my hands. There we go. And then I'm going to ink this back up again. I'm going to give that um, palette a little spray while I'm at it. And again, do this uh, stamp. Remember, wash it with soap and water and a toothbrush. I keep old toothbrushes like after, you know, the, the people are done with them and they get a fresh one, throw them through the dishwasher and then keep them for your arts and crafts needs. They're wonderful for cleaning your stamps are wonderful for spattering watercolor paint. Um, they're fantastic. So not that you need to keep a zillion of them, but they, they certainly come in handy. Whoa. I can't believe I didn't just hit that. Didn't, that didn't just fall where I didn't want it to go. Okay. We'll just stamp that on twice. That looks cool. Oh, that's so easy. That's so easy. Oh my gosh. And it looks so cool. Okay. So there's my, look at that. There's my envelope. Bam. Done. Awesome. All right. So now I'm going to go trim this and then we're going to just layer it on a black card base and call it good. All I did was I trimmed a quarter of an inch off of two sides. That's it. It'll give me a little like eighth of an inch border here. And so all I have to do is layer it on there and then put something on the inside to be a little bit of a, um, I'm going to trim a little bit off of the black panel because I don't want to trim any more off of the, um, colored panel to make it, to make it even. But all I'm going to do is put something light in the middle to write on and maybe a little pocket for a gift card. And that's all there is to it. And we can see it next with the matching envelope. It looks really fun. And, um, and it was so quick and easy. I'll put a link below to the stamps that I used uh, from Stampendous. Probably any of your favorite scrapbooking stores would carry this. Um, and if I, I'll see if I can find some stores that carry it and also link it down below to help you out. It also helps me out too, because they'd probably be affiliates. But anyway, <laughs> sharing is caring, right? It's, it's a fun set and I think they're brand new. So um, get them in your hands before they sell out everywhere. Uh, that's all there is to it today. Look at that, we made that card in about 10 minutes. I uh, wanna thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.